everyone, it's Brittany from the Trekfront support team here. Today we're going to talk about how we can upload a batch of voucher codes to the Trekfront system. Within Trekfront there are two types of discount codes. There are discount codes and there are voucher codes. Discount codes are for multiple uses across multiple customers. So, for instance, you might include this in a marketing campaign or advertising. Now, the next option is called a voucher code, and this is for one-time use, and it, each code is unique. So it would be perfect for when you produce maybe a Groupon code for customers, things like that. So to jump in, we're going to go to Inventory Discount Codes, and here you can see already in the system, there's the regular discount code already integrated within this. So this code, the way that this has been configured, is set up for multiple use across multiple customers, as in maybe a marketing campaign or a advertising campaign. So if we go back to discounts, how you would add in the unique one-time use voucher codes is just simply by clicking new discount. And you can call this this batch of vouchers, whatever you kind of plan on calling it. So for instance, I'm just going to do 25% off. And you can also set things like the actual discounts, the so 25% off. And there's some further settings you can do per item per booking. I'm just going to do per booking. And you can also choose when it's valid. So right now I just have it always valid, but you could make it only for April or something like that. And that would just be done by making the date range April 1st to the 30th, for example. Now we're going to leave it as always. Rules, there are a few specific rules that will work for discounts as in minimum duration of time maybe, like it needs to be a four day booking in order for the code to be valid. For now, we're just gonna leave it as is. Next, you would be choosing which items are actually applicable to this discount. I'm just gonna choose the tourist category and maybe I'll even make the title a little bit more clear. Next, the big step is actually getting a file of these voucher codes. So you would click Upload Vouchers. And a really handy website that you can use is called the Random Code Generator. So you simply just, just Google Random Code Generator or type in uh, randomcodegenerator.com. You can also uh, manually make your CSV file of these unique codes. Uh, but this is just a really quick way to get the job done. So I'm going to use that. I'm only going to upload 10 of these. And you can choose uh, a number of settings in here. I'm going to keep it to eight characters. There's a couple of things that we require for voucher codes. They should only consist of letters and num numbers, so that's important. You don't want any special characters. I'm also going to, um, I'm going to get rid of lowercase here too. But besides that, I think things look good. And then you can choose how to export it. And it just generates you a file right there. So next, you actually just need to upload it. And this is the one I'm working with right now. And the last and final step is clicking Create. So now you'll have a little blue 10 here because that's the number we uploaded. There's a column for how, uh, if it's been used yet and if it was used, which booking ID used it. I'm also going to show you how the customer would be redeeming this. So. For example, I'm going to use this one. So what you do as a customer, you're going to book, you know your code, you know it's for a tour, so you'd pick the tour, and you would simply just apply like that. And we'll walk through the process here of just putting it through. And finally, just a payment here. All right, so as a customer, I've made my payment, I've entered the voucher code, and I've received my 25% off. And now, as a staff, if you wanna kinda of check in and see what's been used, you would again, you would go to Inventory, Discounts, and there's our voucher codes. If you click on the 10 directly, You'll then see that 
uh, this one has been used on this date for this booking ID. So I hope this helps with understanding how you can upload a batch of vouchers and how to set things up. Of course, feel free to email us at support at checkfront.com if you have any other questions. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.